Scoundrel time. Excuse me. Yes, can I speak with you for a moment? Some passengers from Ord Mantell mentioned your reputation as a first-rate pilot. Has the ship's crew spoken to you? Why would the crew want to talk to passengers? Is something wrong? I heard a rumor that there's an Imperial warship following us. I know, I know, the Treaty of Coruscant. But I don't trust the Empire to keep the peace. We should always be on our guard against the evils of the Sith. Good to hear I'm not the only one concerned about the Imperials. The crew won't tell the passengers anything at all. It's not very reassuring. Telling the passengers that Imperials are nearby would only cause a panic. I suppose. Still, I think it's unsettling to think that there might be Imperials behind us. was quite a hit. We're lucky not to be hurt. Listen, you have to get to the bridge. The captain will need all of the help he can get right now. Go, hurry. Let's just hope it's not too late to help. It's never too late to try. Good luck. Iris, you can make it, sir. You can make it. He's gone, sir. You're in charge now. What are our orders? Your orders? Weapons are out. Shields are out. Comms are out. There's nothing we can do. The path may not always be clear, but that does not mean there is no path. Why is this Jedi standing on our bridge spouting nonsense? We're in a situation here. Sir, we need all the help we can get. If we don't keep it together here, we're finished. Keep what together? The Imperials have us by the throat! We're as good as dead already! You're not helping the situation. 
just can't believe this is happening. Sir, incoming message. The Imperial ship is hailing us. What? Oh, well then put them on. Republic Transport SLS, this is Grand Moth Rikers Covert. Your defenses are entirely disabled. Attempt no resistance. We're aware of our situation, Kilman. Just tell us why you're here. Your ship is transporting a known anti-imperial terrorist and seditionist, the so-called Ambassador Vin Asara. I've come to collect her. Who? We didn't take any passengers by that name. I've never even heard of this person. Interesting. Lying or incompetent, no matter. My agents aboard your ship have confirmed the Ambassador is there. You have spies aboard our ship? I have eyes everywhere. Imperial soldiers are preparing to board your ship through its primary airlock. My agents will ensure that you do not interfere with them. If you attempt to stop my men from arresting Ambassador Asara, I will have every living thing aboard the Esselus killed. Where is the primary airlock? I'll stop the Imperials as they try to board. Weren't you listening? If we try to fight, they'll slaughter us. We have to cooperate. It won't matter. Kilrin has us now. He'll kill us all. He's famous for it. The only one he wants alive is the Ambassador. If Kilrin gets the Ambassador while we're sitting in his sights, we're goners. Those soldiers have to be stopped before they can succeed. I'll ensure that no Imperial soldiers make it aboard this ship. It's very brave of you to volunteer. Listen, I'm sorry I lost it earlier. It means a lot to have your help right now. Thank you. Jedi's limits must always be put to the test. I'm sure you're up to anything the imps can throw at us. I'll have our security team meet you by the primary airlock. They haven't seen much action, but Commander Narlock knows his stuff. Good luck. We're all counting on you. That man, this is what you've been training for. The Imperials are coming, and we're not gonna let them pass, are we? Sir, no, sir! We won't be fighting alone. We have some very experienced volunteers. The Imps will never know what hit them. Let's cut to the chase. Yes, the battle plan. The Imps will cut through any second now. We need to take up defensive positions. Saved. I'm sorry, Commander, but that... that isn't the case. 
That Imperial said that you're the one they were sent to capture. Listen, that's not important right now. We have a serious problem. First Officer Hawken walked us right into a trap. The attack on this airlock was a ruse. After Hawken sent you here, Imperial Commandos snuck aboard. They were led by a Mandalorian mercenary called Iron Fist. Defeated the first group of boarders. No reason why we can't defeat this group, too. It gets worse, I'm afraid. Iron Fist and his Imperial Commando stormed the bridge, and now the entire area is locked down tight. Just what we needed. More trouble. We have to do something. We have to act fast. What is this all about? Why are the Imperials so desperate to capture you? Because of my work. I'm a Republic ambassador. I travel to Imperial-controlled planets and convince their governments to come over to our side. Where do we go from here? We need to retake the bridge. The longer we leave the Imperials in control, the harder it'll be to remove them. I already told you, Iron Fist has the bridge locked down. There's no way in or out. Security lockdown. That is bad. Chief Engineer Salem might know of a workaround. Hopefully we can get to Salem before the Imperials. You know where he is? He and his team will be down in the engineering section. I'm sure they'll be able to help us. We'll need a diversion. If the Imperials notice the hatches to engineering opening, they'll flood the area with soldiers. My men and I can handle that. Form up, men. We're gonna go start some trouble. Let's get that bridge open. We'll give those imps something to think about, won't we, boys? I'll go along with Commander Narlock. Once you've cleared a path to engineering, I'll double back and join up with you there. Good luck. Chief, come here. Come here, look. Look, there's someone out there on the other side of the door. You must be crazy coming all the way down here with the imps everywhere. Commander Narlock said that you might know of a way to unlock the bridge. The Imperials have it sealed off. The imps pulled the lock down? You gotta be kidding me. They really cleared this place out. I didn't run into a single Imperial on my way down here. Listen, there's no time to waste. Commander Narlock and his men are being overrun. We have to get the bridge unlocked now. So I've heard. I'd invite you in, but the lockdown has our doors sealed, too. I'm not interested in your problems. I just want to get into the bridge. All right, all right. Calm down and let me think, would you? What about a reactor reset? That would disengage the security locks, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, but a reactor reset vents the engineering compartment. We'd be blown into space. Besides, controls are on the other side of the door. What else could we do to open up the bridge? The secondary conduits. They're spread around a bit, but if you shut them all down, the security will go down too. Then we'll be in business. I'll get the conduits shut down right away. There's no time to go running all over the ship. If we don't act now, the Imperials will overwhelm us. I'm sorry, Salem. We need to unlock the bridge while we have the chance. We have to reset the reactor. You and your men will be remembered. 
We can't send these people to their deaths. Not when there's an alternative. Fine, but you're dooming everyone on this ship. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. It takes a cruel heart to say something like that. I'm practical, nothing more. You crazy witch! Shutting down the secondary conduits will work, I promise! If you're going to do it, go now. The longer you wait, the more Imperials you'll have after you. you managed it, but you did. The security doors around the bridge have opened. The bridge is open, and no innocent lives had to be sacrificed to do it. You were right. I'm sorry. Please understand, I didn't want to kill anyone. I just... It seemed like the only way to be sure. I'll go and help Narlock with another diversion, so you have as little resistance as possible when you attack the bridge. You'll still have to deal with Iron Fist, though. And that's no small challenge. I'm not afraid of anybody. That's good. Most people would panic when faced with an experienced Mandalorian. Or any Mandalorian, really. Mm -hmm. I only know Iron Fist by reputation. But he's been doing Grand Moff Kilrin's dirty work for a long time now. He's never been captured, defeated, or even driven back. You'll Just have your work cut out for you. Hasn't me yet. The Force will give me the strength I need. Just be careful. Mandalorians always have a few tricks up their sleeves. All right. No more time to waste. Narlock, are you there? Can you hear me? Copy. This is Narlock. Set for second offensive. That's right, Commander. I'm on my way to join you now. Let's get busy right away. Good luck.
Well, well. I was wondering when you'd finally show up. This is it? There aren't more of you? Just give up, Iron Fist. I don't want to have to hurt you or your men. Strange view of the situation. Guess you'd have to be a little crazy to put up the fight you have. Let's vape this worthless scum and get back to work. Officer Hawken, do you have any spare shuttles in the hangar bay? Spare shuttles? Yes, we do, but I don't... That's our only chance. You have to board Grand Moff Kilrin's ship and disable the tractor beam so that we can all escape. We've been fighting insane odds all along. No sense stopping now. I've been aboard warships like Kilrin's. The tractor beam control should be easy to find if you know where you're going. Ambassador, you're familiar with the layout. Perhaps you should go along to help get the tractor beam shut down. We need every advantage we can get. It will be good to have you along, Ambassador. I'll do my best to help in any way I can. Ambassador, before you go, take a spare uniform. We wouldn't want any Imperials to recognize you. Good thinking, Commander. Thank you. Now let's get moving. Good luck out there. We're all counting on you. Hey, hold up a minute. I need to talk to you before you go. I just talked to Salen from Engineering. He told me what Asara tried to make you do down there. Thank you for stopping her. I can't believe that woman is an ambassador. She's as cold as they come. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's noticed. Listen, I've been thinking. I really believe this plan is going to work. But there's only one way to guarantee that we'll all make it home safe. And that's to make sure the Imperials have no reason to keep chasing us. What are you suggesting, Hawken? I want you to leave Asara on the Grand Moff ship. With the tractor beam down, we'll be able to escape. But Kilrin will just chase us down again. Unless he's already captured his target. As long as Asara is on this ship, everyone aboard is in danger. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of risking all of our lives for that woman. Leaving Asara behind ensures the safety of everyone else on the ship. I'm glad we're on the same page here. And I'm going to make sure you get rewarded for your help in this. Anyway, you'd better get going. I've held you up too long already. Good luck.
I've seen some incredible things in my time, but you've just topped the list. I'm sorry I couldn't greet you in person. If only you had let me know you were stopping by. Your taunts are useless. This won't stop until the Esselus is free. You certain me. I can only be cordial through so much. My men will be along shortly to escort you to the accommodations I've arranged. As exciting as it's going to be, I'm afraid I must go. No, no. You aren't going anywhere. Iron Fist wasn't the only weapon in my arsenal, nor the deadliest. See you soon.
and promised me a challenge, and this is what I get. You are a dead man. You understand me? Death will never come for me. I am death. To destroy a dangerous foe, that is the way of a true Sith. But you, you are nothing. Less than nothing. I'm betting you're completely insane. Pitiful scum like you cannot grasp the full nature of the Sith. The power of the dark side is infinite. Are you ready to face oblivion? I love killing morons like you. The pleasure will be all mine. <laughs> Get onto the shuttles. We have to hurry. If we launch fast enough, I think we can make it. Are you ready? Right behind you, Ambassador. Let's just hope Hawken has the hyperdrive ready. Come on. Everyone's aboard, Plex. Get us out of here, now! We're safe! You did it! You did what no one else could have done. You've saved us all. We owe you our lives. Every one of us. So on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esimus, thank you. It has been an honor to help and protect you all. If you hadn't been here, we'd all have been doomed. We can't thank you enough. I took up a collection from everyone on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need, the same way you saved us. Please, keep your credits. I'm sure you all need them more than me. That's extremely gracious of you. Thank you very much. Ambassador Asara, it's... it's a relief to see that you've made it back to us safely as well. 
It's a relief to be back, Hawken. I'm just glad that this is all finally over. We're finally safe. I want to thank you again for everything you've done. Heroes like you are hard to come by, and the Republic needs every one they can get. Don't try to pull me into any more of your problems, Asara. I've got more urgent things to deal with. I wouldn't dream of it. I should warn you, though. Grand Moff Kilrin is never going to forget what we've done. He'll stop at nothing to get his revenge. Sounds like I'd better keep my guard up from now on. That would be wise. There's nothing Kilrin isn't capable of. Anyway, enough of that. I'd say it's about time we all relaxed a bit and enjoyed the rest of our trip. Thanks again, and good luck in the future. <laughs>